Hello, in this video I'll show you how you can make a print and the layout should be prepared in this movie to, to suit that printing out. So I will focus on how we can make a layout and change things in it. So I'll start on the bottom to, to see what layout I have in here. In this case I'll have one layout called drawing. It's very simple to move for, from one layout to another. Just click on it and see what you have exa existing. The layout too has nothing made in it, no changes in it. So if I want to, to delete layout, I can just click delete. Very easy. So I'll just delete it. And if I want to make a new one, I click right, uh, you know, a new layout, or I simply go on the top to layout and make a new one. This is a new new layout. So I can have so many layouts and when you click a new layout, you can give the name of it. New layout. Okay, so this is the new layout that I, that I can work with. I can move it here. So it can be the first one I can work with. The first thing we need in the layout is to set it up. So I need to go to the page setup, modify, I will use A3, the units are 1, 1, click OK. Now it's bigger than the rectangle used to be, so I will just, uh, I can enlarge this one, or I can just delete it. The important thing in here is to, to watch the dash line. The dash line is the place where the things should be inside. So I can make a new rectangle, so I can just simply uh, show the uh, limits, and it will show the frame also. So I'll just draw in here a frame in a very simple way. You know, you can make a, a more sophisticated frame and more professional, and you can use a standard frame as well. I will show you in the future some movies about how we can use a frame that's going to be a standard, and we can just reference to it any drawing simply and have one, you know, style along all our drawings. So in after you're done with this, of course, this is very uh, simple drawing, just like any AutoCAD rectangle. You can change it, you can change anything in it, it's very simple. But here, there's a new kind of rectangle, it's a layout view, viewport. You click on rectangle and draw the, the rectangle that can view all your drawings. So this is just directing to the drawing inside the model. So you double click on it, so you can zoom in and out to make the view that suits you. So we will just view inside here to the plan and make uh, more or less a suitable scale. What is the scale? We can just see it in here, the viewport scale. You can select an exact scale so you can ensure very precise, uh, you know, scale. You just click in here and find, for example, 1 to 100, it will zoom out, or 1 to 50, it will zoom in a little bit. So this is very okay. Now, as you can see, the scale now is exact. So you can ensure that your when you print out, you can use your ruler to check the distances. So now I'll double click outside so I can come out from the viewport and work on another thing in the layout. I can make a copy of it and you know, when you copy, it just means that you want to make a new copy of the viewport itself. So you're making, uh, you know, a copy from the, of the viewport, not the drawing itself. Now I can just use the pan or simply move from here to another thing like this stair. I will zoom in the stairs. Double click outside and I can also so, so, I mean, just uh, draw some more of the viewports in order to show the details of the, uh, you know, structurals. I can enlarge this. Pan. I'll zoom out. Okay. Pan. Do it in the way it suits you. Now I'll show you something more. Just like any drawing, you can make very flexible selections sometimes. So uh, you, you just uh, draw any shape 
go home and make any shape this is wonderful so you can simply draw any shape and make uh, an art out of this layer so after you make this shape of course as you can see it's a dead circle it has nothing inside so you can convert it into a viewport just click mv which is the you know uh, the or m view just uh, simply click on the object so it can convert any object into a view as you can see all the sketches are appearing inside here double click inside the m view that's newly made and make a, a you know a, a zoom in in any detail like structural details and make sure that you can fit it in a proper scale double click again I'm using 2200 or I can say 1 to uh, let's check 1 to 10 no 1 to 20 okay so this is better 